Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, karibu sana, I'm Simongai. Thank you for stopping. Remember to subscribe, like this video, share, and leave a very nice comment as we always do. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers, so in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and let's get to the video. On our today's video we're going to be talking about pet peeves so I was so kind at least to start appreciating the things that are so nice in our society and I think it's time you don't know what a pet peeve is a pet peeve is something that is irritating things that people do that you don't like things that people do and they irritate you so 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 much we are different and we all have different pet peeves so in this video Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about my pet peeves, okay? So, that is my pet peeve. That's not your pet peeve. If it's also your pet peeve, ni sawa. But then, kama si, I hope you can ski your kelele. Na kama ski, I'm sorry. So, that's my pet peeve. It's okay. If it's also your pet peeve, it's okay. But then, if it's not your pet peeve, if it's something that you like, that's fine. We are not like so don't come back at me with like a nini i'm just saying what mimi is being yeah so i think nimi jitetea ya kutuwasha sindio nimi jitetea so please as we always do great comments only positive vibes positive energy yeah so let's get to it so nikona kitabu so this is my content book so this is the book that I use to write my content. Yeah, so pet peeves. So the first and very important pet peeve is people who don't say sorry, thank you, or please. So like Ninish Dayako, what's the problem with you? Only kanyange and then you just want to walk away like you did nothing. Maybe someone does something so nice to you, but then you cannot even say thank you to this person. You just there, unona kama it's normal. So, someone does something, you don't see the need of saying thank you, you don't see the need of saying sorry, you don't see the need of saying please. Like go to. Kuna this type of people, you can't remember in high school, I had this bedmate. She did not have the courtesy. Kai, like, have you ever been irritated? Like, at all, at all, let's say, my kulala hutaki. This person will come meet you doing your things. Nana ku push. Has you can be excused. Has you say my sorry. That made me hate that type of people. I'm not going to say what type of people, but that made me hate them. Hate them. Like, we, you cannot even say sorry. You can. Anyway, so let's just go to the second one here. So, there are other people who cut in line. On a make line, you're waiting for a certain service, and then someone, you are just someone who's in front. I'm the person, maybe an owner, I'm a huge body. I'm the person who sees a class. You know what I mean by class? Maybe an owner, maybe in job wise or money wise. I don't know, maybe I'm a class. This person has the audacity to a coach and a rookie kwa line. I had to see my father, and then this person will not see it as a big deal. I was there to get the same same service that you want, but you cannot be patient enough to wait behind me for line. You just want to come in front of me to get the same service. What's that? You can stay behind and wait for your turn to get the same service. To father, make line. You find me for line. You find you found other people make a line, but then you why can't you make the same line that you are making? So. We are requesting you are that kind of people change, please. Yeah, pull who kick or knock at the back of your chair. Maybe when you're watching a movie, maybe come a tattoo, maybe in church, maybe in a conference, like maybe somewhere that 
kuna gathering so when it's just knocking at your chair with a child with a grown up that thing is irritating if it's a child a parent kindly have the courtesy have the dignity kushika mtoto wako jana nisubu and if you're a grown up shame on you okay shame shame on you because I'll nitakuelewa for the first time I'll understand you for the first time and nitakwambia tafadhali if don't do that the second time please the second time nitakuangalia vibaya but the third time just know you're irritating me why do you you are annoying you are annoying for the third time ni vile tu you know ni vile tu please i don't know how to fight you ni ni you ever been in a matatu najua matatu kwanza saki kusema kwenye nilikuwa nikika but hizo matatu ziko so uncomfortable they are so so uncomfortable mko squeezed and then someone behind is pushing you so you can imagine all that uncomfortability from this side from behind it and then upate ni mtu tu anakaa hivi tu hata uweze mwambia kitu juu hata anaweza kugonga ni we so please if you see go inside and work at tafadhali just sit on your seat don't move don't move because so don't move we also don't disturb you in front of us so don't disturb us here behind okay tulia tulia so people who are annoying are the people who speak loudly in public hello sweetie I don't want to be in a conversation Jamini. I don't want to know what you guys are talking about. Why can't you just talk? Pole pole. You're just involving me in issues that I'm, I'm not supposed I'm not supposed to know whether it's a good thing whether it's a bad thing. I'm not supposed to know. I'm not supposed Why you putting me in a conversation that was not meant for me? If it's a good thing, why do you want me to keep on thinking about this thing? Am I it's a bad thing? Why do you want me to keep thinking about it? what is going on with you guys? unaongea na nguvu bibi acha kwa matatu so kuna this time i was traveling and this person um so I was tra traveling from Naivasha to Nairobi and then the person who alikuwa mkiti next to me imagine aliongea na simu tangu apande hiyo gari unajua no, alipanda kama ijaja tangu apande hiyo gari akongea na simu mpaka mpaka Westlands imagine na unge pole pole she's shouting kwa dakika yote like mimi kwanza when i'm traveling napenda kulala but singelala she's in my ear she's disturbing me i'm listening to her conversations as you ngombe fanya what's wrong with you okay I was so irritated nilikuwa tunamwangalia hivi the good thing ilikuwa inafika point nasikia na kuambia na kuambia ujamazi but then when i look at her like this ako na gray hair and i'm like you are lucky you are lucky you are old hey like story nilisikiza story za wenyewe and then she didn't give me mnaongea story but then i listen unasikiza story from one side kama unataka nisikize story yenu I cannot speak let me listen to the conversation I don't want to listen to one side I don't I don't want to judge I don't want to judge one person let me just listen because you you wanted it umetaka ikuwe mimi ndio judge tafadhali make me the judge let me listen and judge it okay kama uwezi jamaza kama uwezi ongea okay, pole pole kama leo tupika jamini acha nisikie mwenzako ah so <laughs> the people who who are irritating so things that i appreciate i appreciate people who walk quickly in town so this other type of people i don't i hate the people who walk slowly mtu anatembea pole pole and then you find this people are walking as a group of people so we may make line you cannot pass this people are walking slowly. 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 Kai. No kuna haraka tafadhali if you in town if you are in a busy area walk quickly ama kama unataka kutembea haraka kama una haraka wewe tafuta hoteli keti kula ukikojea masaa utoke ndo ukimbie na sisi wenzetu si kutembea pole pole na unachelewesha wengine kama una mali pa kwenda look for somewhere rest and uko kwa keti pumzika and a whatever area that is around you upumzike please cause 
cause cause I in Nairobi. Let me just talk about Nairobi. You guys, honest. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This this other type of people who look over your shoulder. You're doing something, and then maybe at coming to your friend or someone, you do am I someone that you're discussing? Mutu akuhapa over your shoulder. You are maybe typing, maybe you are writing, and someone is. When I imagine that we scare to you, someone akuhapa, you cannot do anything because this person is disturbing you. And please, like akuhuko na kuguzo. Those are people that die. I dislike. I don't hate you, but I dislike that kind of behavior. Yeah. So, well, now these other people who chew loudly with their mouth open. So, first, if you come on up in a because I don't chew in areas that maybe it's conference, places that require respect, somewhere that you've gone. When you know, we have a no kuapuna chew chew. <laughs> don't chew kwanza don't chew in some tape or in some area so and then you're chewing chew on your mouth you're irritating us so for that if you can't chew well wait for your time when you can chew and go back here don't come for to irritate now how you chew so there's this thing that i also hate People who frequently call you. You call me once, I don't pick. You call me twice, I don't pick. Tafadhani, that is enough. That is enough. You've called me twice. You may scare same. So, don't call me the third time. Don't call me the third time. Maybe I was doing something. And the moment you call me more than, especially, come on, it's family, fine. But if it's, come on, it's urgent, fine. But then don't call me when it's unnecessary. Don't call me when it's unnecessary like 10 times. When figure nini. First, on empathy anxiety. Secondly, you make me think of what it might be before I even call you. So you're stressing me up. When empathy depression, you're making me overthink of things that I'm not supposed to even overthink because of what you've done. We create anxiety. When you empathy stress, because I'm boo. And then you wait. And then you have to come to an acquaintance with you. Jinga. You jinga. What's that? Honestly, to watch it. Yes. Oh, the other thing that I dislike is people who smell sweet. Honestly, buy something. Okay, come on, it's sweet. Dog on his hour. I'm eating the evening, but you can't be smelling sweet in the morning. Honestly, where's the nook of sweat? As boy, you're irritating us. You cannot smell. Can you buy cologne? Spray, just do that, please. Mimi, I can even understand. Smell by I'm dumb, but then it gives you a sweat. That's that's too much for me. I'm not bragging, but it's better. Smell, I'm dumb, but she does Mimi, especially in the morning. Honestly, kwangu Mimi, cause maybe feel kwam dumb. Maybe it's something that you can control. Ah, kwa mdomo controllable but then huku I think it's something that everyone can work on sindio yeah. so something else are these people who enter a lift before you come out lift him is mom but then this person wants to go don't wait for other people to get out of the lift so they can enter like they get into the lift before you enter those are the worst type of people the, the lift is not going anywhere and what if we all don't get out of the lift to tend our so please be patient for me and the other people to get out and then we can get out Ms. Kimbizani kwa lift Tafadhani, be patient so some um, whatever so so there are these other people you probably see that my earrings are cute instead instead of you telling me that my earrings are cute you go ahead and ask me, Oh, you know, I think you know how I feel. Please, just tell me. Your earrings are cute. Where did you get them from? Don't start with questions before you even. Ooh, 
or appreciate ama you give them credit just give them credit and then ask where i got them from but then if you just go ahead and of course Okay, you said no, of course, in schedule, in Zuri, but then start by saying it's nice, it looks good, okay? It will not cost you anything. That's just a type of dignity, courtesy, and all that. So, I think that's it. I'm talking about something that I know that irritates people about me is how I text someone. So, you see, there you like text someone, Sasa, I want this and this, and you just do it in one paragraph. For me, I'll do it in 10 messages. Sasa, ukwaje, nilitaka, ni. I know that is one thing that irritates everyone. And then, the other thing I know that will probably irritate you. This is Nikiana, maybe kwa hoteli. Sikwangi ni make up my mind what I want to eat. So, nitawasungua. I will take time before I, I, I decide what I want to eat. Nitawasungua. I know that will irritate you if with me so i think i've also said what i do that irritates people so you can also comment down below what you do that you think irritates people so i think that's it thank you for watching until here so in case you have watched baka hapa you can kindly comment maybe whatever you're saying and then at the end eka a flower emoji so that i can know you got to here so that's it thank you for watching let's meet in the next one